The nation is poised for a general election which may come many times soon. As such, both political parties are taking steps to ensure their election machinery is in place. The People's National Party have ruled out their plans initially geared or essentially geared at sustained economic growth. But do they present or represent a viable option at this time? This morning, it is our distinct pleasure to welcome the leader of the opposition, the People's National Party, the most honorable Portia Simpson uh, Miller. Party leader, good morning. I want to Hi. thank you so very much for joining us. How are My you? My pleasure. I'm fine. Yes. Um, you know, we remember initially that you should have been here and so on, but because of certain, um, you know, um, circumstances. Yes, you know, and you let me apologize for that. And um, I had spoken to you and explained why I would not be able to make it that particular morning. I gave you a commitment that I would be on with you soon. Here I am. I never give a commitment that I am not sure I'd be able to honor. And we are so very happy about that yes. because you say that you're a lady of your word and here it is now. It's coming to pass. Thank you so very much. All right, let's get straight into it. Um, the talk is, or the mantra now, is that we are seeing a changing, they say, of the uh, political landscape, you know, with the ushering of the. Um, Andrew Homeless, 39-year-old uh, um, youngster, and other issues which are now being uh, discussed. What are your views on that, about the changing political landscape? I have no um, problem with that. That's not a serious challenge for us. Um, as long as you're in politics, you're having changes not only um, in Jamaica, but globally. And um, we are ready and prepared. Fact is that the People's National Party, I have a team. We lead a team, a team that is experienced and not only locally but globally. A good blend of experience, of youth, of ideas, of fresh thinking and so we have a nice blend and ready and prepared for leadership. For you mentioned that because initially when you rolled out your list of candidates or the shadow cabinet that you had announced, many was actually saying it's you know the same old faces, the same kind of people that we are actually used to. Um, but I don't hear the same criticism yes. about the same team of people in the, on the other side. And the JLP, everybody, including the new prime minister, they were all members of the cabinet. They were all part of the decisions that were taken by the Bruce Golden-led government. It's the same team. So there are criticisms about our team. Let me explain something. Um, shadow ministers should be in the parliament or in the Senate because you want them to be able to respond to the government ministers. And so we had to make a selection from within the parliament and the Senate. And so um, that's what I did. But we have a team of candidates, a, a nice blend of youth and experience, energy, fresh ideas, and people who are really capable of managing the affairs of the country. And I'm very proud of the team that we have. And um, very early, I will begin presentation of candidates across the country. Which we hope that you will candidates. be doing here this morning, too. Um, <laughs> um, we, 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 we got wind initially of um, an email that was uh, circulating, um, I think it was the Deputy General Secretary Julian Robinson, and he was pointing to some kind of concern of people being um, um, a little bit, or there was some sense of panic within the party. Um, panic? It, it was, but, well, the, 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 the email was actually speaking uh, it to that. And uh, that was established as a result of uh, Andrew Holness being named to lead the party. And I suppose what that has done is to um, 
uh, through the, 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 the strategies of the People's National Party through the window, because I know that your campaign was actually built or concentrated on Bruce Golding, and then that probably hit everybody uh, like a, a ton of bricks. Oh, no. Uh, he, actually said, uh, he, he actually said that there was some kind of um, panic. Is, is, is homeless uh, uh, more of a challenge for the PNP at this point? I, I, there's no, there was no panic in the People's National Party. I think that it is being said, and particularly by the media, that there's a euphoria about Andrew. I have not felt it across the country. I have not felt it on the ground. What I think happened was that the JLP base, a part of the JLP base that was dormant, became alive in terms of change of leadership. But that's no threat at all to the People's National Party. We are not concerned about that. And we are not going to allow change of leadership in another political party to divert us from what is in front of us now and what we must take on fully, frontally, and that is protecting the interest of the Jamaican people. Which is the perfect segue for us to go into our next question because um, the party was actually voted out after 18 years um, in which many felt that the PNP uh, was a failed government. You know, first of all, how do you respond to that? And what will be different this time around? Um, how do you plan on winning back the confidence of the people? But the, the way you've put the question is as if you agreed that we were a failed government. In the 18 years, there were a number of achievements that impacted the lives of the Jamaican people in a serious way. And if 18 years was a failure, check the four years of the Jamaica Labour Party government. Compare the achievements of the People's National Party government for the 18 years. And I'm not saying that perhaps we were perfect and no errors. We could have made errors and would learn by those errors. But look at just four years in comparison to 18 years and where Jamaica was positioned. Because I knew when I became um, Prime Minister, all the international agencies were saying Jamaica was poised for a takeoff. And despite the economic challenges, and remember now, we warned the government. We were saying, there's a crisis <coughs> on. You need to put some things in place. We were mocked, we were jeered. Omar Davies warned. I warned a number of our um, people warned spokespersons, saying, hey, look, you need to do something. They just mocked and jeered. As a matter of fact, we were told that the crisis would be good for Jamaica. Here we are now. Because while we would have felt the impact, if we had done some things and were really prepared for it, bearing in mind that the United States of America is uh, our largest trading partner. If they were going to be having challenges by way of their economy because of the recession, why did we feel Jamaica would not have a problem when if they sneeze, yeah. we get a bad cold? And so the government just would not listen, neither to people in the country that were saying to them, hey, look, you need to do some things. The opposition kept on speaking, and um, we were just jeered and mocked. So um, look at what, where we are now and what happened under JLP government and the 18 years. I, I want to ask, the highways leading to development, was that failure or success for the country? Our airports, Norman Manley and Sangster, the improvement to make us look um, first world and that both Jamaicans and visitors can travel in comfort, success or failure. The indoor sports center at Independence Park Complex, success or failure. The Chelani Stadium, success or failure. 
the Catherine Hall sports complex, success or failure. The Trelawney, the port there, success or failure. The improvement to the Newport West the port, success or failure. And I could go on, the um, Portland port, success or failure. The schools that were built by the People's National Party, success or failure. The transformation of education, success or failure. And um, when I introduced free health care for children zero to 18, found the money. It was funded, success or failure. And I could go on, go on, go on speaking about achievements. And even the Jamaica Labour Party government, it, most it, of the it, things it, they have done so far were carry on from the previous administration, success or failure. Um, it, 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 uh, which is quite interesting because you have chronicled the achievements of your party. Some. Um, what, yes, some. No, no, it would know, take which, you which, 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 perhaps yeah, which, yeah. until next year <coughs> for me to go through yes. all, all the of achievements. That. <laughs> which would actually baffle the mind of, of party the leader as to why you were voted out. Because, he, you know, if you're doing all that, you know, so, so, so wonderful a job, you know, why is it that they would have said after 18 years that, you know, say they wanted a change? Uh, all right, let's, 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 let's look at the... Um, After 18 years, yes. people would say, well, we want to try. The people tried. Yes. And now they are very, for very... Experiment. Not very, very happy with the experiment. Yes. Um, you know, sometimes have you, you have failed experiments. Yes. And you were yes. very excited about the experiment you were going to get. In. Well, that's what happened to Jamaica. All right. Uh, the, the, the main concern right now of uh, Jamaicans would be the economy and which government is better able to fix it. Uh, we have seen marginal economic growth, I think, what, 1.5 or something like that, under the JLP. Uh, how do you propose to stimulate economic growth? Um, how do you propose to do that? Uh, but before I respond to that, do you remember when I left office the, in 2007, the growth was above um, 3%. Mm. Um, unemployment. Yeah, but the government took it over during yes, a, a, yes, a really yes. difficult time. You yes. know, recession no, no, was no, on no, globally. No, no, it was no, so no. difficult for When they for took everybody. it, the recession didn't start it. And we warned them about the recession. Had we remained in power, Jamaica would not have felt that the, the kind of serious impact that we're now feeling as a result. Remember, we had a very experienced team in office. We still do have a blend of experience, energy, new ideas. And so everybody is pushing the recession. We had difficulties as well when we were there, but we managed. It is the responsibility of governments and those of us who of ourselves to manage any situation in the interest, first of all, of the Jamaican people and the country not partisan political interest first. And, and, and I just want to say to you that I'll be looking seriously at the economic ministries. And we have been, we have started because we are preparing that from day one, when the Jamaican people return us to power, we will be able to start running from day one and watch our first, um, our 100 days. Mm. after mm. What, what the achievements that will be there. We'll be looking at those ministers, how best we can go for growth and development, growth in the economy and development. And we, we have um, a number of ministers, the economic ministries, that we're looking at seriously now, how we're going to be working those ministries in the interest of the Jamaican people. First of all, we'll be putting the Jamaican people at the heart and the center of government and governance in the country. And everything we do, the people will be at the forefront and the country, not the People's National Party, yes. right. not we, Jamaica. But we, we are going to be doing that, you know, but 
uh, give yes. me the opportunity to to expand a little. For example, um, export, manufacturing, looking at agriculture in a very serious way in terms of the value added, how we will be able to really push that sector, not by PR, but the practical work will be done to push the agricultural sector. You see, there's a lot of PR gimmick in this country, and sometimes people do buy into those things and do not look at the reality. Well, all, all, all the politicians tend to revel in that, though. I, I do, I've never reveled in it. I was um, minister for a number of years, labor, social security, sports, tourism, sports, um, local government, community development, and sports. I've never reveled in, 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 all of that. in, in, the, all right. in the PR situation. All right, but party leader, we will be we're going take for break. growth, putting the country at the heart and center of yeah. government and yeah, government. We're on the point of fixing the economy. Oh, yes, and, and I mentioned some things. And I'd also like to say to you, we have been very busy meeting with um, prospective investors uh, in a number of areas, including energy, We've been having discussions in terms of agriculture and a number of, of, of the sectors that could impact growth and development. One overwhelming problem we have in Jamaica is the question of employment. And we will be going for jobs. We, ha we are working on programs and projects that will be able to generate employment for our people. And um, it is very serious. Hence, Jeep, which is just a part of that, we will be unveiling the details soon. But we are working on a number of programs and projects so that one will assist to generate economic development and growth and provide employment for our people. And we will not forget that education will be a primary focus of our administration because that will lead to a number of other things happening. Remember when Barbados took the decision that they were going to be looking seriously at education, they were not paying much attention to some of the other things that we fuss about. They were focusing now on education. Now their country is on the brink of becoming first world, and I really feel that we need to um, Play some serious focus on not ignoring some others because we know proper health care, national security, and no more, they're critical and important. But what we will also be doing is having consultations because we need to say to the country this year for the budget, we are going to be identifying these ministries, these things that we are going to be really taking on front and then work to achieve in those areas but the country would be aware and would be participating in the decisions as to that we are going to be focusing on these things while not ignoring but that these things would be of um, primary importance to the, to the people of Jamaica and the country. Um, how much more can you tell us about the Jamaica Emergency Employment Program? Um, Jeep, how are you? So I, we sure that we are will. now uh, fleshing out the thing we have, and I must thank the many Jamaicans and a number of professionals who really and organizations sent us some um, recommendations that we are now fleshing out and adding to the program. Uh, there are s um, sections of the, the Jeep, areas that would not need for us to be. Uh, going to budget for like the uh, engine and the, the for the, the, the mm. no man the, the, the jeep is strong it's all weather it's, it's all an weather. all weather jeep <laughs> and it has um, several spare tires the engine oh. is really yes uh, when you rev it you mm. <laughs> it's really roaring to go <laughs> it's rearing to go but um, there are aspects of it that will be driven in partnership with the private sector. I think it is critical, but it is really going for um, job creation and at the same time training 
which, 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 which will be a serious component of it. I heard fun being made of it as um, crash program, and I asked the question, when you go on the road and you see a number of persons cleaning up the streets through um, uh, solid waste, what does that look like? Um, mm. Doesn't remind you of? The uh, Jeep is cert certainly not crush program. And um, where by saying it, and those who are uh, really making a mockery of the pain of the Jamaican people will soon realize when we unveil Jeep, there are challenges. They're very worried about Jeep because they have no, and that's why we're keeping the details of it until we unveil officially yes. Jeep all the plans. so that are uh, all the plans. You can't be in yes. an election mode and then give your opponent your yes. ideas yes. because we are aware that they are lacking of ideas and, and they trying want to, to latch on to yours. Oh yes, because <laughs> first <laughs> yeah. of all they asked for a debate in Parliament and we said, oh no, put your ideas on the table and then we will discuss our ideas. When, yes. Once we say put your ideas on the table for job creation, then they it just disappeared and they clammed. All right, um, all right. I, 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 I want to touch on another area which is quite crit critical as well, um, the whole question of crime, which is at its lowest at this point, um, which will point to, um, to some extent, the um, efficiency of the government um, in this department. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, all right, w was come it, on. well, it's at its come lowest on. now. Well, it's it, at it its is, lowest now in a little know. while. Every at, Jamaican knows so, exactly so it, what. Is it, is it, is it, is it um, uh, Madam Leader, that the PNP was soft on crime? No, is no, it was what, not soft on crime, it? but remember, we did not have, what happened in Jamaica, why we now have a reduction? Why was it that we had the state of emergency? Why was it that we had operations all over? Wasn't it not because the country spoke to a criminal network? And the, we, I, I do not give yeah, credit. It, 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 I give it was initiated by the I give credit initiated it? by who? Yeah. After what? Don't forget what caused it. Don't forget why we are but where we the are. But they stayed the course, didn't they? Yes, yeah. but they, 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 I give credit to the hardworking men and women of the security forces of the country. They are the ones who brought down the, the crime rate to where it is at. If it was dependent on government alone, and the country did not apply pressure, and foreign governments did not apply pressure, we would have, have remained in the same position. So I don't want anybody to tell me about, because the entire country knew exactly what happened. Yes, I give credit to really sticking it with the security forces by allowing them to perform their duties, yes, I'll give the, the government credit for that. But my credit is to the men and women of the security forces of this country who uh, really took this thing on head on, worked hard night and day to ensure that they could break the back of what is. But it's not over. We need to continue to be very vigilant. Mm. Um, which, 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 which should be um, one of your mandates as well, too, yeah? when you um, take office, if you do take oh, office. Oh, of course. That, that you, uh, you keeping the country and the Jamaican people safe. And that, that's why I am um, very concerned about our inner cities and poor communities across Jamaica. Um, I'm often, very often, I'm criticized for speaking too much about the poor. But I represent a constituency of inner city communities. And I want to see some focus on both our inner cities and looking seriously at poor communities across Jamaica. And one of the things that I want to have some serious focus on when we are returned to government is our development, urban development, but also a serious focus on rural development. 
And so the criticism about my speaking up about the poor, job creation is a serious challenge for us in Jamaica. And I want to see our inner cities become winner cities. The Prime Minister wrote a letter requesting my walking with him in an inner city area. That's symbolic. And I'll walk with the Prime Minister, but he needs to sit down first with, with us, with a team, to discuss. Walking is one thing, but how will walking inner cities, and I'm into anything that will bring unity and to foster um, political unity in the country where um, communities that will be considered closed, that, that I think it started with uh, Michael Manley and, and, and Eddie Sayago, and then it came back down, both most honorable, to most honorable um, PJ. PJ and most honorable um, Eddie Sayago in bringing a level of political civility to the process and working on continued what was started and working on the electoral process to ensure one person, one vote, same person, same vote. So it, 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 it removed all the flooding of polling stations, people invading and voting. For example, the last election in my constituency, I hear people talking about how many votes she got. The machines were at work. Nobody could bogus. There could not be one, because every polling station in Southwest St. Andrew, South St. Andrew, East Central St. Andrew, um, Western St. Andrew, Eastern Kingston and Port Royal, a number of these constituencies were well equipped with the voter um, identification machines. And I think it worked very well. But I would like to invite the Prime Minister for us to sit and discuss. And, and I'd like to commend him and his uh, ascension to position of, of Prime Minister. But to work on how we can transform the inner cities into inner cities and transform poor communities across Jamaica. So and how we can transform lives, not just walking for people, yeah. which is symbolic to yeah. say, well, we are walking PNP and JLP. Yes, we need the unity, and I support the unity. It's not something new. So you're not going me. to accept the I invitation the, then to walk through the garrison? We will walk, but we need to sit with us first and say, when we walk, how will that change the lives of the people? Mm. And I do not. I do not agree with this characterization of poor communities and inner cities as garrison. When you say garrison, you're emboldened the few that are evil are bad. And you're destroying the hopes and aspirations of the majority of people in these communities. They are decent people. All they need is a chance to help to lift them. And I, and I am of what one of the aims of um, the People's National Party when it was founded and as exposed by Norman Manley that the interests of all classes are bound up together. But there's one that predominate above and beyond all others, and that's the masses of the people. Mm. And I think I have a responsibility to, to work in the interest of the, the working class, and I'm now speaking up for the middle class because their standard of living is so eroded Yes. that we now need to look seriously at how we can restore the middle class to their rightful position and lift the interest and lift the living standard of the masses of the people. But what, what is, we have a few questions, um, because you, you had initially given us half an hour, but you have um, gone over that time. I want to thank you for that. Um, what is the unity like now within the People's National Party. More united um, than ever before. Mm. Just look at us. Are you not seeing us out there? Mm. We are united. Some are saying that it is being done for um, political experience. No, we don't operate people. that way. No, 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 no. You're, you see, people who are saying that, 
they are, they are comparing us to the other party. We're not like that. It's not about political expediency. And for Portia, everyone who, my entire life is one of service to the Jamaican so people, my adult life. You've so watched, me, you've watched me take position so even the, against the, my the own party. The party now is united right. behind the Portia Sinton, despite united, the initial opposition. And we stuff. are strong yes. and we are prepared and we are ready. We are training our candidates. We're, we're training our spokespersons. We have experienced persons in government and governor who understand government and governance, who are experts working with us. Mm -hmm. um, are you ready for elections in December? Everything we are ready for we elections, elections next week, next month, uh, whenever. So it doesn't matter what time the election is. It doesn't for. matter You'll what time. We are ready and we are prepared. One thing I'd like to say, though, is that um, while we're ready for elections, <coughs> I want to throw out a challenge to the Prime Minister that he came as, as a new Prime Minister and we had hoped that he would make some changes rather than um, announcing that he would continue the same failed policies. But there, there are 42,000 persons that were registered. And the list that should be ready and published by the end of this month, we're hoping that he will ensure that those 42,000 Jamaicans, the majority of them we believe are young people, will be given the opportunity to exercise their right to elect the next government of Jamaica. Um, I want to ask you this before we go to. Um, we see where Sharon Hill Webster is having talks with the Jamaica Labour Party. It's on the front page of um, one of this morning's um, papers to, 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 to cross the floor. What are your views on that? She said that she, she was no abused by that. the People's National Party. She was and what? She was abused by the People's National Party. And then you're veering from the, well, from the, for, for, from the ideals of Norman and Michael Manley in that you're not putting the people first and all of them things and so on. I don't what understand. Are your views on that? You can make that criticism of, any, of, of some political leaders. Certainly you could make a criticism of not pe putting people first of a, of a Portia Simpson Miller led administration and certainly um, most honorable PJ Patterson demonstrated a love for the people and interest in the Jamaican people. The same thing with uh, uh, Michael Manley and if I should say that if you look at Eddie Seago you could, you could say Eddie had the interest of the Jamaican people at heart. Um, it is good Democracy it is, is at work. We have no concern about what um, she would like to do at this time as a democratic country. Fact is that it is unfair and certainly not true if it is because the People's National Party demanded either you renounce or you become independent, that you're saying that we treated you badly. I heard her say that I've never had a discussion with her. I sat in the opposition room down at Parliament and I had a discussion with her. What is it you wish to do? And she said to me, she made several applications to international agencies seeking overseas employment and that her children are young um, and she did not want to renounce her citizenship. Now, it is fair for her to just say to the country, I don't know how badly we treated her, but guess what? We would be happy for her to run. No challenge at all. Under the JLP or under the PNP? Uh, the PNP. You, no, no, so no, you will no, accept no. her in the, the Jeep GLP. just to see? No, 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 no. Oh. The you don't want her in the Jeep anymore? The, 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 no, she's not on the Jeep. Oh, she's not she on the Jeep. She was not no. on the Jeep. 
Okay. All she right, was good. not on the Jeep. I the can't, Jeep is uh, a new thing that yeah. came out of the progressive agenda that yeah. will be implemented by a People's National Party we couldn't, government. Uh, uh, um, party and that's leader. not the only program we not have program. or project working Which on. You know that's that. just All a right. part of it. I'd bar the leader and get, getting the no, rebel no, signal. No, no, I'm I just couldn't, saying to you yeah. that the constituency is a strong yes. PNP constituency. Yes. Let her run. Yes. We that's welcome her in the Jamaica Labour Party then. <laughs> that's yeah. beautiful. Yes. Um, we couldn't we let have you go. a wonderful educator. We could not let candidate. you go without asking about um, uh, IMF and um, if the government is being um, less than um, fair with the Jamaican people. And will you, will your government be going to the IMF? Well, I indicated already that the fact that we are in a relationship with the IMF and the fact that the government could not present the kind of program that could be accepted with the IMF. We had said to the government, please, um, renegotiate, get back to the joint board. Um, we would have to look at a program, a new government. If the IMF could not take, the, if the country manager said, person in charge of the country said, we couldn't take it to the IMF officials. Where would the opposition go? And I he heard the, the new prime minister saying, oh, it's careless of us to be saying. Yes. We couldn't take a program that was not accepted to the IMF. By any, any stretch of the imagination, whether the Jamaica Labour Party or us, it would have to be uh, reviewed. Um, Madam Lee, we want to thank you so very much. We are running Such out of time. Such a pleasure. Yes. See, <laughs> you say, and, and you see. And you're I, here, you see. I, I don't bite, you see. Come. It is easy. You see, there we go. No, no, no. Simple. But I always, I'm never shying away from speaking. I, do, I know that. I know that. Know. And I know explained that. to you. Yes, yes. And you, you told me exactly what it was. Yes, mm. and I'm here. Yes. And I want to wish your, your um, viewers all the best. And thank you very much. Pleasure being with you. Yes. <laughs> thank you so My very much. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> very nice and thank you. All right. Yeah. We'll come back to end the show after yeah. this. Mm -hmm. You are my sunshine in the rain.